So this is method 2 of finding what is the length of the side if you are given the area of the square. Okay, so maybe we write down let the length be equals to a plus b square root 2 form. Okay, so it means that if I square root 3 plus 2 root 2, right? Yeah, this would give me a plus b root 2. Okay, so the length is in this way. Now, what do I do? I square both sides. I will have 3 plus 2 root 2 is equals to a plus b root 2 square. And what is a plus b root 2 square? a square plus 2 a b root 2 plus uh, b root 2 square. Okay, what can I conclude? I can say that this guy is equals to a square okay, plus uh, 2ab root 2 plus 2b square. Okay, I rearrange them. a square plus 2b square plus 2ab root 2. Okay, now this technique you need to know very well. Okay, it is called comparing the rational and search. Okay, so what is the rational number over here? This guy is the rational. Means it does not have any square root. This guy is the third guy okay so right now comparing the rational and thirds okay what do i have i have three is equals to so on the right side which is my rational guy the one that doesn't have a root two which is this equals to a square plus two b square okay and for my set, I'm only concerned with the coefficient. So the coefficient of the root 2 is 2. Okay, so what is the coefficient on the right side of the root 2? It's this guy. Okay, so we are just comparing the coefficient. 2 is equals to 2ab. Alright, which means that ab is equals to 1. a is equals to 1 over b. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. And we do substitution. Okay, so remember this technique. This is called comparing the rational numbers with the rational number and the coefficient of the third with the coefficients of the third. Okay, so now I sub it in. 3 is equals to 1 over b square plus 2b square. Okay, so 3 is equals to 1 over b square plus 2b square. I multiply by b square to everybody. 3b square equals to 1 plus 2 b to the power of 4, which means 2b to the power of 4 minus 3b square plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, now it may look very complicated to do b to the power of 4, but because you see this is b to the power of 4 and there's only b square, what can you do? We can do a cross factorization. So I'll have 2b square and b square over here, uh, 1 and 1, then this will be b square, here this will be 2b square minus 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 3b square okay that would mean that i have b square minus 1 2b square minus 1 equals to 0 b equals to 1 or b equals to 1 over and then we square root which is rejected because we want to have rational answers okay or it can be negative one as well okay but in this case we also reject this because the length cannot have negatives all right and then which means that a is equals to one or so okay so therefore the length is equals to one plus root two cm where do I put it back? I put it back to here. Okay, so this method is a little bit longer. Um, I, I mean, if, if it comes out in exam, I would like you to persevere. Go and square both sides and then compare the coefficient of the rational guy and the third guy. Okay, and you most of the time you can get the answer. Just persevere on.